Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. The city of Swift Current is moving forward with its plans for an automated residential solid waste collection system and catching up with other communities across the country already following that trend. The Plaza Theater is a landmark in Shonovan and has sustained the test of time from its inception in the 1930s through present day. All the while remaining under the operation of one family. A variety of dogs and their two-legged partners work side by side, making their way through an agility course at Riverside Park in Swift Current. This Agility Association of Canada sanctioned event saw participants from across the prairies compete in the weekend trials. Thanks for joining us here today. Starting in September, Swift Current will join other communities across the country with residential automated garbage collection. We have more in today's top story. The city of Swift Current is moving forward with its plans for an automated residential solid waste collection system and catching up with other communities across the country already following that trend. The new system will be in place by September the 15th. And leading up to the transition, the city has invested over $379,000 to purchase 5,400 garbage carts for upfront use, plus 200 for future growth, and an additional 200 for replacement and repairs as necessary. And as far as cost to Swift Current residents, it's unclear at this point in time if the monthly residential waste collection fee will be increased. Well, right now we're not making any changes to the uh, to the utility rate. So uh, whether you're uh, you know single family. Uh, or an apartment dweller, your your rates won't change right now. We're we're currently doing a review on the solid waste utility, so somewhere towards the end of the year, we'll have a better idea where we're sitting with the whole utility. But right now, we're not making any changes. The move to the new garbage collection system will see Swift Current residents assigned one 98-gallon cart per household, each with a serial number identifying your specific address, in case the barrel is ever misplaced. The new carts are lightweight and portable, with a handle designed to ease with mobility. And with the residential collection remaining the same, whether it's at the front curb or back lane, Minkin says there shouldn't be any issues through the winter season. We uh, maintain the lanes, so if the lanes uh, get get blocked, we, we go and open them up. We, we have to open them up so that the uh, trucks can get down there and do, do collection. Uh, front street, you know, now we if, if your street isn't on the regular routes, you know, we always, if they get blocked in, we always come and clean them off. So, you know, there should be no change from kind of what we do today. In the coming weeks, details on the new automated residential garbage system will be included in mail-outs to Swift Current residents, along with information sessions planned for each of the five collection areas of the city. The week of September the 8th, we'll see the new garbage carts dropped off at residents' homes, complete with instructions on proper placement of the receptacles as the new collection system kicks in on September the 15th. And as a note of interest, the communities of Herbert, Leader, and Maple Creek have already converted to the new automated garbage system, while the town of Shonovan still offers manual pickup for residential garbage. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. The Plaza Theatre in Shonovan is a historic gem and continues to attract patrons out for an evening at the movies. The Plaza Theatre is a landmark in Shonovan and has sustained the test of time from its inception in the 1930s through present day, all the while remaining under the operation of one family. So my grandparents owned it and ran it first, then my mother and her brother and sister, the Durham family. My mother was the only of the three to get married and she married a Howell which is my maiden name. And I married Herb, my husband. 
and we have run it since 1989. Our children and our grandchildren also work in the theater now. And after her mom's passing at the age of 99, Goldstein and her husband came close to selling the theater in 2012. However, after much deliberation, they decided to keep the theater and change with the times. This included a full redesign of the interior, from painting to carpets to introducing a digital sound system for their patrons. Well, at one time, behind the screen, was there were three big speakers. Now we have 17. Uh, we were playing a movie recently, and it was X-Men, and in a scene that was showing on the screen, but which you couldn't see yet, there was a ping pong game going on in a room that the actors were approaching. And three gentlemen sitting in the audience here were looking around wondering, who's throwing ping pong balls in here? And then, then you could see the scene that was on the screen and it made sense, but they were sure Herb was pitching ping pong balls at them. Along with offering the latest movies, the Plaza Theater is now a multi-purpose facility. With a capacity of close to 200, they can host other events. There's been a stage in here for some time, but what we did was drop 13 feet in front of the stage where we can allow um, food to be served, small dances, and we also put an in-house uh, sound system that if, for instance, you wanted to show what you're producing on the screen, we could do that for you. We have hosted things for the Arts Council here, and we have partnered with Harvest Eatery, where they will serve an hors d'oeuvre and wine and beer here. And it's, uh, and it's, it's just, it's very cozy. The popcorn is always on at the Plaza Theater, and you're encouraged to drop in and experience their warm hospitality. More details on the Shonovan Plaza Theater can be found on their Facebook page. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Well, it was a weekend for the dogs, with the annual agility trials recently held in Swift Current. We have more in this report. A variety of dogs and their two-legged partners work side-by-side, side, making their way through an agility course at Riverside Park in Swift Current. This Agility Association of Canada-sanctioned event saw participants from across the prairies compete in the weekend trials. Danielle Yuzik of Swift Current has been involved with agility with her dog Elvis for the last seven years and has placed first at regionals. An outdoor event both she and Elvis enjoy. Um, I love how fun it is. Um, for me, I use it as a challenge to myself and my dog instead of trying to just get first place and everything. Um, but I love how fun it is. It's fun for me. My dog loves it. He absolutely loves the exercise. And I also really enjoy meeting a lot of new people. Um, like you meet people from all over Canada and it's really interesting. You make a lot of good friends. A sport which has now become a family tradition with her younger sister Angela and her dog Breeze also involved in the agility circuit. It started out as mom and dad were kind of in it, and then Danielle was in it, and then I just kind of, that seems like a fun thing to do, and led to getting a dog and starting to play for myself. This Agility Association of Canada sanctioned event is held in Swift Current every July. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.